Technology is all around us. At home. A car. At school. A hotel. A store. And even outside. The world is at our fingertips. Sometimes just with a push of a button. Technology can be powerful. Which means we need to be responsible. Be safe. The internet is a system that connects computer networks. It also allows users to talk and share resources and information around the earth. It is always good to ask a grown-up before getting on the internet, phone, computer, or other device. If you are ever using a piece of technology and you see or hear something that makes you feel upset, feel uncomfortable, or someone else that takes care of you. If you're at school, tell your teacher. Hey, what do you, oh, 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 let me help you with that. Okay. There you go. Okay, there you go. Internet filters and safe search engines. Something that can help your family be safe on the internet is having an internet filter. At school, our filter is called a proxy, but filters can have different names. Filters can help block bad things that could make us feel uncomfortable, like inappropriate photos, videos, or advertising, biases, and spyware. This is how an internet filter works. Adrian presents our internet filter complete with the helmet and shield. Our bean bags represent different websites. Blue bean bags are websites that are good and have helpful information, resources, games, music, or photos. The red bean bags are websites that have inappropriate material. Maybe things that make us feel uncomfortable or you know are bad. The purple bean bags are questionable. They can contain good or bad content. Watch what happens when the websites are accessed. The blue bean bags make it to the user. <laughs> The red bean bags are stopped by the filter. Oh, there is a purple bean bag. The filter might catch it, but if it does not, that is when you exit out or tell a trusted adult what happened. You could also use kid-friendly search engines. Here are a few. Safe search engines. Ask Kids, Kids Click, Kid Rex, Squirrelnet, and Yahoo for Kids, just to name a few. Protect your identity online. What kind of electronics do you play with? Tablet. Mom's smartphone, laptop, Xbox, computer games. <laughs> you have an identity online. You create a profile that represents you. Maybe it has weird hair. Maybe, maybe it's an animal. Maybe 
It's a superhero. Maybe it's the Earth? Maybe it's a car. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Apps and websites let you choose a username or password. You probably do want your friends to see your profile and picture. But did you know sometimes other people can see it too? Like strangers? to keep us safe. When picking a password, screen name, or email account, don't use your real name. The student that you think is your age could be someone totally different that wants to hurt you. Never tell your age, address, phone number, or your school. That's private. Social media. When people communicate, sending messages, sharing information and ideas, as well as photos and videos, it is considered social media. It can be cool to make new friends and play games, but they can also connect you with strangers. You should never talk to strangers online. Do not agree to make them. Never send photos or videos. You might think that you were talking to a kid your own age. But in the real world, it could be someone much older that is trying to trick you. If someone does try to talk to you online, tell your parents, teachers, or growing up that you trust. They may need to contact the police. Cyberbullying. Everyone likes to joke around sometimes, but we can hurt people's feelings by joking around online. A person can be called a bully by calling people names, sending a mean message, or sharing a story that's not true. You mean a lie? Exactly. Or even posting a photo that could be embarrassing. Saying something bad about someone does not make you cool. Remember, when people see words instead of hearing your voice, they don't know if you're trying to be funny or if you're serious. If you are being bullied, don't send a message back. You need to tell an adult. If a friend or someone you know is being bullied, be a friend and tell an adult. Top tips for internet safety. Here's the poster from Trend Enterprises that has our top tips for internet safety. They also gave us permission to use this poster. Keep your password strong and secret. Ask permission before buying anything online. <gasps> Share only photos you are okay with having everyone see. Visit websites you know are safe. Keep your personal information private. Tell an adult if you are being bullied or see anything that scares you. And don't be a bully yourself. Remember, technology is everywhere.